Jacob here over to episode Wednesdays with Jacob. I'm here with Dibbles. Hi Dibbles. Say hi to everybody. I'm here to tell you about some announcements coming up for starters today. Our friends at Main Street are doing their first Friday. All dogs are welcome as long as they're well behaved. It's going to be great. They're kicking off their Art Avenue so that's going to be awesome. Um, the annual rabies and vaccination clinic at the Chisholm Trail um, Expo Center and also Rebel Rescue and the Groom Closet are teaming up for a paw wash and, it, and as a special treat to tell you all about it, I did an interview with Heather from Rebel Rescue and she's going to tell you right now what it's going to be about. And I'm here with Heather from Rebel Rescue. Heather, thank you so much for being with us. Um, what is your group's purpose and what is their goal in Enid? Well, our group is um, basically made up of five women that used to be rescuers. And we've kind of formed this new group that um, is a fundraising group. So what we do is we hold fundraisers for different rescue groups or different, um, you know, around the area that need help. So uh, what we do is basically we're having a paw wash on April the 6th uh, from 10 to 3. And um, all the money that we raise is going to go to Joni and the groom closet so that she can continue to board dogs. Uh, that she does every week. She usually has an average of about 10 to 15. So she saves a lot of animals and what she does is just hang on to them and treat them well until they're ready to go to the rescue. Until a rescue is found or until a rescue is able to come and get them. So that is basically what we do and uh, we've got the paw wash coming up which is a pretty big deal. What you can do is come and uh, get your dogs bathed and nail trims for 15 bucks. Uh, if you want to spend another ten dollars then you get the feast, feet, the face, and the potty area trimmed up as well as well as a uh, cologne and a blue bandana, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, we have hot dogs and drinks that are going to be for sale by donation and anybody that uh, buys the fifteen dollar wash and nail trim they are also going to be entered automatically to win a $50, $50 gift card or gift certificate from the groom closet. We've got two of those to give away. So if you come out and get the wash, you're automatically entered, so you've got a really good chance of winning that. And if someone wants to get involved in your organization, how would they go about doing that? Absolutely. We're uh, always looking for volunteers for our events that we hold. Um, we're always looking for donations. Donations are our, our primary reason for being and they're what keeps us going and able to help animals. Uh, so we do have a Facebook group and a page. You can go to uh, Rebel Rescue Fundraising on Facebook and join our group. You can keep updated on all of our events and anything else that we might have going on and we'll get you involved. Okay, thank you very much. Let's hear for Heather, every guys. Please make sure to go down to her page and give her a like. And just thank you for being with us. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate right it. now, we have a ton of puppies up for foster or adoption, so we encourage people to hashtag adopt, don't shop, because look at these little guys right here. They're adorable, and they just really want a home. When you adopt these puppies, you get the full package. They come spayed or neutered, they come microchip, they have all their shots, and you even get a little toy with them. So, and when you foster, we, we provide everything. We provide medical care, food, bedding. All you have to do is just provide the love for these animals because as you can see, they're just very sweet. And you know, I guess I should say that if you don't want to adopt a puppy full time, we are always in need of foster parents for puppies that come in when we're just too full to house them. So you can always sign up for that on our website. And I want to give a huge thank you to somebody who works at PetSmart. Savannah, who has been a PetSmart employee for six months and goes to Northwestern, thank you so much for your support of the e SPCA. Savannah managed to have people donate 114 cans of dog food to the e SPCA in one day. In less than 24 hours, she accomplished that on her shift. And that is just wonderful. Thank you so much for helping us. We cannot appreciate it enough. And I cannot tell you how many dogs are going to have full bellies tonight because of you. We have these amazing beds for sale, and they come in a variety of different designs, colors, sizes. It's $5 for small, $10 for medium, $15 for large, 
and they're very comfortable. Um, I bought some for my dogs, and they love it because it actually got them off my bed. So that tells you how good they are. And and the lady who makes them, I mean, they're just amazing. They have excellent craftsmanship, you can tell. And she just upcycles them, and it's very nice. So just please come on down by one. We're going to be making ID tags at the Enid Rabies Clinic. So how does that work? How does, what does that entail? Well, I tell you, we will come with about three different tags. They're gonna all be bone shaped like this. We can have a few cat size tags out there. Um, and they will be in three different three or four different colors, black, red, blue, and pink. And you can print on both sides. We will have a little sheet for you to fill out telling us what you want on there. And um, so we're gonna make one up right now just so that everybody will know how quick and easy that we can get this done. So, what do we want to put on the front of this? Generally, I would say, let's put the animal's name on the front in big print. Definitely put the animal's name on it. And I guess since Blackie's here, he can be our little model. He can be our little model. So, <laughs> we, but if we're going to do Blackie, should we do a blue tag? I guess we should, because we don't want to. So, we're going to do a blue tag for Blackie. And he is up for adoption right now. He was the dog that had the leg injury, but he is doing great now. He got some physical therapy, got some surgery, and he is able to walk right now. He loves to walk, so he is available for adoption. So I've typed in Blackie, and I'm going to just press the engrave button. Come here, buddy. Blackie loves to be a lap puppy. Yes. And he didn't have a leg injury. He had a back injury because he had been shaken. Yeah. And he had no, I lost. Said, I'm, I'm sorry. I, said, I didn't yeah, say leg okay. injury. I'm just. But with swelling in um, in the back area, he had lost use of his legs. Yeah. For about a week. So. He's doing great now. He's doing great. Okay. So. Here we have Blackie's tag with his name on it. And then we would simply flip it around and back out of his name Blackie and put in the telephone number, uh, whatever else that the owner may want to put on their dog's tag. And it is just that simple. And we're not going to put his phone number on this one because maybe when he gets adopted, we'll let his family yeah, um, put their information on that side instead of wasting a tag. Yeah. So um, that's how simple it is. And we can get that accomplished within just a few minutes. And um, it, it, they are gonna be $5 each um, for each tag. Thank so you very much, Vicky. Um, even if you don't need to come out and get your rabies uh, done at the rabies clinic, come out and get a dog tag made. Yeah. Thank so, you. Thank you. Today. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and share and donate. And don't forget to look out for my other videos of Ena Television Pet of the Week on Thursdays. That's when they come out. So just thank you guys for watching. And as always, may the first be with you.